The History of Western Science by John Gribben. This is a Folio Society edition. It comes with a sort of nondescript slipcover. The book itself is very pretty. It's got these gold treatments, this gold illustrations of scientific instruments and discoveries. It's, the sides are a cloth, bound in cloth, and then the, it's quarter bound in leather along the spine. Again, with the gold, you can see sort of the grain of the leather there. History of Western Science, with a model of an atom. The top also has this gold leaf. And of course it's sewn in acid-free paper and all that jazz. The Folio Society always binds it, binds their books nicely so that you can lay them flat without breaking the spine. So this one is, um, I've never actually read this edition of this book. I read this, well, actually I never even have completed the book. I'm, I've done some reasonable amount on an electronic version. And then when I saw that the Folio Society had what looked like a very pretty edition of it, and I liked what I had read so far, I grabbed it. And I think I was right. There are lots and lots of images throughout, not just in these sections where they have images, but even just sort of throughout, they have things like, you know, just little things, just as you go. And plenty of room on the, on the margin, the margins here. They have these little side bits that kind of give you a signpost of where you are along the way, what's coming and what you've just left. And as I say, lots and lots of, they have these sections of illustrations and then they have illustrations throughout. The paper is reasonably thick. It's not amazingly thick, but it's reasonably thick. You can have a look here and see the illustration does come through a little bit, but that was a very dark illustration. And it's, it's easy to read. There's plenty of space between the lines. I was recently reading a book next to my wife. She was reading a different book, not as nicely bound as mine, or not as nicely produced as mine. And we were saying, why is mine so easy to read and yours is so hard to read? And I thought maybe the font size was different, but in fact, the font size was the same, but hers had the, the it's really called the leading. That is the, the difference between the lines was less. Each line was closer to the one before it and the one after it makes it harder to read. This is a thick book and a dense book, a lot of information, but at least it's not difficult to read. So there we have it. History of Western Science by John Gribben. And what I think is a very nice Folio Society edition.